Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you a new program called Image Sorter and you're going to be the first to use the new YouTube subscriber license. It's built into Visual Studio and integrated with GitHub. If you try to run this code and you're not a subscriber, the code will not run. Don't test it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to convince you in the next five minutes while you might want to subscribe anyway though. For one, you get this cool icon all for free. That's probably worth it right there. But if it's not, you're a skeptic. We'll keep going. I'm going to show you this directory I have called shirts. I have a whole bunch of gradients. I've already ran this once, so I'm going to go ahead and not talk as much in this one. So here I've got this directory called gradients, and you can see all the colors. This is just a bunch of random gradients one of my little programs created. And I want to sort these by colors to make it easier to find. So to do that, we're going to run image sorter. Alright, now here's all you have to do to run it is select the source folder. So we're going to just go with gradients. And then the output folder, I'm going to select the sorted. And then the fast factor is optional. If you want to have a thorough inspection, then you would want to not type anything here. But if in this case, like for gradients, it doesn't matter if I get 400,000 pixels or 4 million. I'm going to put in a number about 10. So that'll just inspect about one out of every 10 pixels. And I'll just go ahead and run it. So as the message says, this may take a while. It's got to figure out how many images to uh, search for. And it also, it's only searching for JPEGs and PNGs. But if you want to search for others, there's you can do that also. You just have to do it custom. And this it's built in if you want to search for JPEGs and PNGs. Okay, so now we're done. We'll go ahead and show you in the sorted folder. It sorts by first the blues, and then you'll notice the file name. Like here, it's blue, green, red. Eventually down here, you get into the green, blue, reds. And then down here, you get the red, green, blues. You know, that's the, this is the brightest. You know, if you have a lot of textures, I find it really useful for animation when I'm trying to put outfits on characters. If you trying to find matching clothes, if they're all sort of sorted in order, the way my closet would be if I was rich. But anyway, we'll go ahead and skip. I thought my little uh, I thought that was pretty useful for sorting directory by color. And now I'm going to just give you the 30 second tour of the code if you happen to want to see it but this is all it this is this comes down to everything right here here I just get a little bit of the you know the output folder the input in the source folder that's in the wrong order but okay there and here I just see if you type in a fast factor and I update the label and here is this image class is fire dot sort which is part of data juggler dot pixel database nougat package which is free so that is, and I'll show you just the very quick tour of that, how that works here in this image classifier. And one image classification is like if you take one image and score it, it the image classifier returns one of these. That'll show you the average colors as well as the primary, secondary, and minority colors. And the new file name that is contains the primary colors and all that other, and the red, green, and blue values in an encrypted kind of sort of fashion. Here I just rebuild the name of the the new name is what we're doing. Sorry, wrong method. Sort is what we want. Okay, so this is the sort. There's a few overrides if you want to pass in your own extensions. This is the one that eventually gets called, but the program that I just showed you actually calls this one and it uses JPEGs and PNGs, but it always ends up calling this method here. And all this does is this just goes through uh, and it loads a pixel database for each image. And then it classifies each, uh, you know, using the image classifier for each image in your folder. And then all it does here, every 10 it does a callback to the delegate in the other program that I just showed you. It's just a way to get a little status on a long running process. And here I just sort the images by the new name. So by the time I set the new name, it's going to be sorted uh, alphabetically. So I just use link here and get the new name. 
and then here it goes through and just copies all the files. So it's a really simple program, but I thought that was pretty useful. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's worth the price of free? If not, tell me what I owe you. All right. And also let me know what you think of the YouTube subscriber license. I think that's a, uh, I think this is going to be the future to where you have to be a subscriber for the code to run. So let me know. Try it out yourself. Let me know if the code runs for you if you're not a subscriber. You should be a subscriber anyway. All right. Have a great day.